hi guys welcome back uh, today's video's topic is scrum model so we will discuss today uh, what is scrum model is and uh, why and how it is better than waterfall model and why we are using this okay uh, so uh, if you are pursuing your graduation if you are a computer science student uh, in BTEC or you already pursued or uh, already completed your graduation so uh, like when I am doing my graduation I have a one subject in my third year that is software engineering there we have discussed a lot of uh, process models right iterative or uh, prototype spiral those are, these are the method like uh, in those days in golden days or we can say in old days we are using for uh, developing our projects right so but nowadays no one is following these uh, old models like waterfall models and prototype we are not following that because nowadays we are believing in agile methodology what is agile in the it is not a topic of this video but i will give an overview agile methodology is fast and fail rule okay like it is believing in fast development okay so this is a very time taking waterfall model we will discuss why okay because this is a topic of this video we will discuss why it is better like a scrum model why a scrum model is better than waterfall model so without wasting time let me uh, make you understand uh, uh, we will just make this video very simple okay so you can understand each and every point uh, related to the scrum model okay so let's move to uh, like why it is uh, important right and sorry why it is different a scrum model what is a scrum model it is a like type of agile method okay agile methodology method okay because we have agile methodology and what it does mean like fast and fail rule okay and it is a like type of agile methodology process okay now the second thing it is important and we will discuss this in detail like what is why is better than water from model so you will uh, after this question you will have a clear picture in your mind okay so for making you understand let me open this image where uh, we have this water from model right so as you know the first phase is discovery or you can say requirement analysis phase okay in your book uh, like if you are pursuing you remember that in your book it uh, mentioned requirement analysis right i still remember it is a tan number of question in paper right <laughs> yeah uh, okay so uh, focus here uh, the second phase is design after requirement analysis coding testing and development okay what is the problem here like if you are using from this uh, top to down okay so what is the problem in this model uh, like uh, the requirement whole requirement come at once right uh, the product owner will come and they will give the set of requirement like in paper they will give a requirement right this is our requirement and it will come to the developers and it will come and just they will think about the design after that there is no interaction between uh, product owner and uh, developers or the development team like QA or ops engineers there is no interaction mainly the developer is responsible for uh, implementation right so there is no interaction between uh, developer and product owner who gave the requirements right so there is no interaction first uh, this is a uh, mistake in this model not a mistake but uh, why this is a reason why we are not following okay and second thing like at uh, at a uh, piece of chunk like at uh, at the same time when we are discussing or we are analyzing a things or requirement analysis what the product owner need like suppose if you take an example of banking application right like uh, you want to make one android app or you want to make one application or you want to make one food delivery app like zomato right so uh, like it is not possible to be uh, like uh, in this case like they will give a chunk of requirement at like as a dump right this is a requirement after that you have to code and suppose you code like there is a hundred requirements okay we have a hundred features and suppose you coded them as hundred right and you are done with your coding you tested everything is finished okay at the end point of maintenance right uh, you just post your code to your repository uh, your project is live and all then this person will came and when this person uh, see the application running on uh, environment this person say like this is not a thing what i am expecting from you guys right so what it does mean like suppose this hundred requirement took you to implement it like uh, six month 
or uh, two years whatever three years right it will take three years right so, okay then what is the mean like your three years totally waste right so that's why this is the main important point we are not using this uh, waterfall model okay so now to make you understand why the scrum model is far better than this okay so let's move to the next uh, uh, image or next slide so come here yeah i think this is visible to you so this is a scrum model okay uh, this is not proper line design here this is my way of understanding okay so i have doing here so let's see uh, what it is it is scrum model okay so why it is better i will let you know suppose in a scrum model first thing first uh, as you know like uh, when you are in graduation i am also in graduation okay uh, like sorry i was in graduation when then i thought there is a in team there is a uh, manager there is a team lead and um, like a uh, lot of people like uh, team lead and manager when you are following a scrum model okay there is no one called as team leader and no one as a, a like manager okay first thing keep in your mind when you are following when your project is following when your like team is following that scrum model you are developing a project by the following of like uh, you choose a scrum model right then there uh, should be no people like team leader or um, uh, project manager it depends on your company and it's depend on uh, say like situation what they are following but generally the people not following complete scrum model okay because uh, in company like uh, my team also like if i am working as a developer right so my team also not following a complete scrum model okay because uh, it should be important like we have a team leader right and uh, we have a manager and uh, uh, like uh, yeah we have manager and team leader right so it's important so but in what scrum model told what it suggests there should be no team leader and manager right okay but we have we not following complete scrum model so in a scrum model what is a thing is we have one product owner as we discussed in uh, here uh, here discovery uh, requirement analysis what we are doing requirement, uh, requirement analysis right who give you a requirement product owner right so here we have uh, this thing okay this is, we have product owner okay he is a product owner okay but he will say like suppose there is a one client or product owner he want to uh, make one application like suppose uh, food delivery app right or uh, any uh, hospitality or any application okay so he will came and he will came here and give the requirements okay he will came here and there's a lot of requirement one two three four six lot of lot of requirement okay it's not uh, compulsory he will give a lot all the requirement at the same time okay uh, it might be uh, increase out of a certain time of period okay but uh, think he will give you the requirement here so this is a business requirements okay now what happened now you got it right what is a product what is a job of product owner he will give you the requirements okay business requirement we can say that and in scrum model we have three peoples dev qa and devops uh you might be have a questions like okay i understand dev and qa and what is the devops here actually the environment which dev and qa needs to Im uh, test or implement uh, these requirements or uh, to make a project who will create that environment right all the repositories softwares and tools and systems right who will create devops only do that right okay yeah because we don't have here any ops engineer okay uh, and uh, when we are not following this scrum model ops engineer is responsible to do that but here we have devops so what is the role of devops it is involved from the starting of the project to the end of the project okay yeah so we have these three people here so suppose uh, this green guy he is a um, developer and yeah qa in red right <laughs> he is a qa tester okay and uh, here this people uh, this guy in uh, blue is a uh, devops so uh, i like do not consider we have only three people okay we have a multiple numbers of people in one team so as a team here we call it scrum team okay this is a scrum team 
and there is a one person uh, one more person who manage this team who track the process who track the progress of uh, project how it's going and, and he will help you to like if you not understand any requirement he will arrange the meetings he will contact to the project owner so like as a manager you can say that right we have a this person who is this person this is a uh, scrum master okay so you can uh, say this this person is a not you can yeah this is a scrum master okay yeah make this keep in the mind so three thing clear product owner the people we work as a like as a one unit okay we call a scrum team and we have a multiple developers multiple tester and multiple like and devops okay yeah and scrum uh, master so now once you have a requirement business requirement what uh, the thing how we can develop a project how we can implement the all the requirements okay we have user stories and who will create a user stories uh, from these all requirements we have this user stories right product owner will get the requirement from this we have a user stories and from user stories uh, what are these user stories actually uh, one term introduced here like a sprint okay and epic okay so just um, for sake of simplicity do not uh, uh, make yourself to deep down more just under understand like this epic is nothing but collection of uh, sprints okay yeah leave that topic for now understand uh, the sprint what is sprint uh, for make you understand let me uh, do one thing suppose uh, you have this <coughs> sorry have you seen the metro bridge uh, in uh, in your area like when uh, where you are in delhi or something you have like a uh, bridge uh, distance 10 kilometers right mm, 10 kilometers so you have seen a people like uh, what they are doing uh, they do one thing uh, they will make this much area and from like single line right not double line and they will start running and after that when the metro is running here they will keep on doing this so uh, first they will develop this much area after that they will develop this much area and add a two line like one for going here and one for coming okay and after that they will do like this remaining area they will develop right so this whole thing as work as a epic okay and the small small part here these are the part right uh, these are the part this 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 and this work as a sprint so understand like for the all the business requirement what we will do we will create uh, this user stories and from user stories we will pick up the uh, some stories which we will perform in a one sprint and remember one thing the sprint is just like a cycle okay for completing a, a project you have to uh, work in a sprint why we are working here in a sprint like every sprint here uh, is a time of two to four week and one sprint like as a developer will uh, like on their like, what their understanding the developer what, what the developer will do by their understanding they will pick some stories from this requirement right either two three four what they want okay and they will design that okay they will develop and they will test and demo and at finally at a demo state they will come here and demo here demo and they will show the demo to the product owner if product owner say okay this will okay so they will push uh, like code at prod and uh, at final they will push a code and all thing is working they will deliver the project if the product owner say like this is not uh, the thing which i need what they will do uh, they will remove the code or make tweak to the uh, like uh, changes to your codes and uh, yeah again you can do the demo in next rest print okay so what uh, the benefit of using this scrum model as you can see in waterfall model we are performing all the things requirement analysis and implement and all things maintenance after the six stages we are contacting to do the owner right but here like we divided all these uh, business requirement into the user stories and we pick some user stories in one sprint right in one sprint here at one sprint we pick some requirement some user stories and we implement that uh, and test and demo uh, in demo we design dev and test right if it is okay we will move forward and pick some other stories if it is not okay then we will ask the product owner if it's not okay then we will retest or we even redevelop it right so how cool it is right you don't need to wait for entire project to be end because it's full of time waste 
and uh, yeah if it is uh, increasing a time of in development then it will be increasing a cost of the project which uh, product owner or client doesn't want at all like uh, cost of project will be increased and uh, when the a client will give a project to the company they will decide some particular amount of time to that project like it will complete in two years so this thing is keep going on like you are uh, like as a waterfall model at the end the client will say this is not as uh, expected right so what is the uh, like um, obviously time will be wasted right so time wasted the company reputation will be down right and yeah so this is not at all a good model so that's why we are following here a scrum model now i think you have a great idea like uh, what is scrum model is and why we are using it and what is a sprint is what is a epic is and uh, what is a scrum team is who is the product owner and who is a scrum master ma ma scrum master and what is the responsibility of a scrum master we have discussed all these things right yeah so if you learn anything from this video yeah give thumbs up or uh, yeah i will see you in the next video yeah thank you bye bye